Hello, my name is Peter Parfitt. Welcome to the New Brit Workshop. Now, quite a long time ago, I think it was at last year's Harrogate show, uh, someone asked me if I'd make a video about the various path products to sort of bring them all together. And I said, yeah, of course I would. And one thing led to another, we've moved house and so on, and I never did get round to doing it. Uh, and then I was at one of the Axminster stores a few weeks ago, and someone asked me a question about one of the path products, and I uh, we discussed it for a few minutes and then he said, yeah, it's a pity you haven't done a video about all the PATH products. So anyway, here we go uh, with a very quick summary of my PATH products. Well, it seems sensible just to start with what I was uh, doing just now. Uh, I've got uh, three different PATH products here helping me with that little task you saw me do with the writer. And if I just slacken that off, there's my piece of wood. I was about to put a chamfer all, all the way round. This is a cam clamp that when you put it down onto a surface like this, uh, put something in there, and then you rotate it a little bit, and it then tightens against there. And that's, that's pretty tight. You see, I can almost lift the MFT3 with that. That's held really tightly. Now, in order for it to function, uh, here we have one of the guide pups, which is in one of the holes here in my MFT3. Then we needed a backstop, and this is the backstop. Notice it's got three holes. Uh, this pair allow you to set it up uh, in a right angle fashion, like so, and the outer pair allow you to set it up across a diagonal, like so. So you can have it at 90 degrees or 45 degrees, depending which pair of holes you use. And you would uh, hold this in place using a pair of guide pups, either in a straight line like that or across a diagonal. Now, I created this replacement MFT3 top uh, using the path guide system. And I've made a number of videos about this, and so I'm not going to go into it in any detail. Suffice it to say that with the path guide system, uh, you can lay out a perfect rectilinear arrangement of holes at 96 millimeter centers uh, so that you can then do accurate jig work and accurate cutting with your track saw on either an MFT3 or any custom top that you might make. Now, most of the dogs in the path range have this unique chamfered collar here. And the idea of that is very simple. When you push it down into your uh, hole in your bench top, uh, that chamfer then sits flush uh, yet it keeps whatever dog it is, and it might be this 50 millimeter uh, guide dog here, it keeps it absolutely vertical. So with this 50 millimeter uh, guide dog, when you push it down into the 20 millimeter hole, the chamfer unites uh, with the chamfer collar, uh, and it's then sitting absolutely vertical. But in order to create that chamfer, you would either use your router, uh, if you're doing a lot of them, that might be an easy way, or you can use uh, the path chamfer tool, like this one. So it goes down into the hole, and you give it a few turns, and you can see there, I've created the chamfer. And that now means that the various dogs fit in very neatly, and they'll be vertical. So that's the chamfer tool. And you've got a cutter here, which has got four edges, and if one edge gets dull, you can rotate it, uh, and you've got another fresh face. And so there are four faces all together. Now, there are times when, of course, things aren't the right length to get a, an easy fixing on the bench top. So we've got these wedges. You put a wedge in like so, and then tighten this up, and lo and behold, you're holding that again. Really, <laughs> I can't lift it. And so that's firmly held, and you just release it like so, and away you go. And you can use these wedges in pairs, like so. And that's now holding that reasonably tight, not quite as tight as it was with the cam clamp. And there are yet uh, more options. Uh, for example, here we are back to this situation where uh, we thought, oh gosh, no, what a shame. Uh, you can use a wedge on its edge like so. Uh, because uh, that's a, another filling in distance. Uh, there's also a spacer block, which has got no holes in it, and it can be used in any way like either that way. Or we can go back to our wedges in a situation like that. 
use a spacer and a wedge or <coughs> spacer and a pair of wedges. So the, the list is endless. And this is all achieved by having either the cam clamp or combination of the cam clamp, wedges, a spacer, the backstop, and of course these guide pups. And then we've got the Path Superdog, and there's a, a normal size version and also a tall version. And these can be used in four different ways. In one way, they can be configured with this collar, which makes them more or less identical to the original Path Dog with that 25 millimeter boss there. They can be configured with the chamfer ring, so when they push down, you're gonna guarantee that it's gonna be absolutely upright, just as it was with the original dog with a 25 millimeter boss. And you can have no collar or boss at all, so it's completely smooth if you want to set it at a particular height for a particular task. And the fourth way you can use it is to introduce it from below, and then it will be held in the bench top with just a small amount sticking up from below. And the same configuration can be used with the much taller super dogs. Now these really lend themselves if you're doing rebate work using your track saw and guide rail. Now sometimes it might be difficult to get the dogs out of a bench top. And the reason for that is multifold. It might be because the holes are, are aging and there's some little bits of fiber uh, from the MDF uh, used in the top coming back into the hole and sort of making it just a little bit tighter. It may be because it's cold as it is in my workshop today and with this super dog, uh, the uh, rubber rings are just a little bit hard. So I've made up a little tool, dead easy to make. It's included in one of my videos somewhere or other. Uh, you just clamp it on there and then lift and out it comes nice and easily. Now the dog story continues with this, which is the anchor dog. And the use of this is very, very simple. It pushes in to the top of your bench top, like so, and then it's in there and it's absolutely flush. And the reason it's flush and it stays there is because it's got a chamfer on the top, just here. And that chamfer goes down into the chamfer uh, that you've created on your bench top, and therefore it's flush. Now there are many uses of the anchor dog. It's got an eight millimeter thread in the middle. And so you can use this as part of your jig work, maybe trammel work as well. It's particularly useful for trammel work because it sits down flush and therefore you can have a trammel which will go through 360 degrees without impediment. And another thing you can do is make something like this. I've just got a, a piece of wood into which I've sunk an eight millimeter threaded screw and then that's fixed onto the top of the anchor dog. And now I can use this as a bench stop for whatever process I might be doing, whether it's using a lamello, a, 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 a domino machine, uh, maybe even doing some planing, although you need to have a, a little bit more stable bench than the one I've got here. And of course, there was a lot of excitement when the path repeat stop was introduced and uh, that allows you then to do multiple cuts all of the same length uh, very easily. And of course it can be set up for 45 degree cuts as well. Now I'm, I mentioned the chap I bumped into at the Exminster store a few weeks ago and forgive me I'm so sorry I haven't got your name I wrote it down but I can't find the piece of paper <laughs> and, and I, I know you bought one of these. This is the accessory kit. It consists of four of the cam clamps. It also has a pair of the 50 millimeter uh, guide dogs. It has six of the guide pups. It has the chamfer tool. Has a pair of rail clips, very important if you're using the Festool guide rail. It's got four of the back stops with the holes in and it's got four of the wedges and it's in a T-lock container. And that was introduced as a result of a number of requests, again, last year's Harrogate show where people said, well, wouldn't it be nice to have all this kit in a little box like so? Well, that completes this very quick rundown of the various PATH products. I hope it's been useful. 
Many thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.